I need to do better. Okay, so that's better. <laughs> hey everyone, I am here for another video. And in this video, I am going to talk about my kids and um, some of the, I guess, um, <laughs> concerns or worries people have about my kids in the conversations that my husband and I have with others. And so I wanted to address that on my channel since um, this is my super mom's journey channel. So me talking about my whole motherhood journey and part of the journey is, you know, how my kids are being raised. And there are um, <laughs> some things that a lot of people don't understand. So I want to explain that. And as you can tell from the title of the video, the biggest question is, are my kids um, missing out or are they being deprived of, I guess, what people would consider normalcy, normal things? Um, so let's look at that. So the first thing would be that um, people think that our kids are deprived or they are missing out because of our beliefs. So that's where this whole issue comes from. So we, my husband and I, and our family, we are Israelites. So what that means is that we follow the Bible. So there are, you know, many religions that follow, you know, parts and pieces of the Bible. We follow the whole thing okay um and of course yeah there are you know translation things but that that's a whole other subject okay and so we because we're actually in the process of learning hebrew so that we can get you know exact translations and everything um but for the most part we follow that bible and um so we follow it from the Hebrew perspective. So with being Hebrews, you know, and we're learning the Hebrew language and we're learning the Hebrew customs um, and embracing our Hebrew culture, um, God has, you know, set aside, you know, days for us to observe. And the holidays that everyone normally when I say everyone I don't mean literally everyone um follow we don't do that so this is where you know one of the worry and the concerns come because we do not celebrate Christmas we do not celebrate Easter we do not celebrate Valentine's Day we don't celebrate St. Patrick's Day uh, we don't celebrate Halloween, none of that, which I, I'm making the face because I'm just like, I never understood the purpose of all of that anyway. And that's why I know that they're not missing out and they're, they are not being deprived. Like they are developing perfectly well, if anything better. And I'm going to explain why. Um, but yeah, cause even as a kid, um, I wanted I wanted to follow the Bible and I I wanted to understand how Christmas actually tied in to the birth of Christ. And, you know, because, you know, the idea of celebrating his birth, okay, it's like, oh, that's nice. Yeah. So then I wanted to know, okay, so if it's his birthday, why are we getting gifts? I know a lot of people are like, you did not think that as a kid. Yes, I did. Um, I didn't understand the tree, I didn't understand the mistletoe and all of that and all of that stuff. I didn't understand how any of that tied into the birth of Christ. And come to find out, it doesn't. So if you do your research and your studies, even history um, channel explains all of that and you realize where it really come from, yeah, that made more sense because it's like, oh, so that's why. But we want to focus more on following the word okay we want to stay in alignment with being righteous and holy and um but a lot of people like they just go into a panic because our kids don't celebrate christmas and the kids are okay with that 
Um, I mean, I was raised not believing in Santa Claus. And I was okay with that. I was fine. You know, kids, they just, they just want stuff. So they just want presents. They're not worrying about how you give them their presents. They just want stuff. They want toys. They want candy. They want food. They just want stuff. And so our kids, they get all of that. And they're not worrying about how, okay? So we don't need to dress everything all up and decorate an entire house to do that. Um, so yeah, Halloween, I can count on one hand how many times I went trick-or-treating as a kid and okay, it was fine. And then also my birthday is on October 31st. And so I grew up having to let people know my birthday is not on Halloween. My birthday is on October 31st. Halloween is on that same day, but Halloween is not my birthday. October 31st is my birthday. And, um, yeah, so you, you know, you grow up, you've been called names, but I was always the type, I ain't care about people calling names. It's like, whatever, y'all just don't know any better. Um, and that was the mindset that I had. I was smarter than everybody. So, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, and I, I laugh when I say that because I still feel like that. Like, I'm just, you, whatever. And so, yeah. So, they, they're not missing out on anything because they, you know, what, they're not missing out. Look at this kid. Now he's supposed to be upstairs playing. So, you just gonna photobomb my video? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Do we celebrate Christmas? No. Huh? No. No. We don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> do you still have fun at our house? We still have fun at our house, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. What's some fun stuff that we do? Mm -hmm. You don't know. What do we do that's fun? We watch movies. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You got some toys. Mm -hmm. Yep. You play video games on your tablet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We play hide and seek. We go outside and play. You go play with your friends. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So people they like go into a panic because they're like, oh my god, what about the kids? What about them? They are okay. They get presents and surprises and treats and all that stuff throughout the year oh you love treats don't you yeah yes because i like what? to promote you know good behavior and you know working hard and doing great and when they do that they get treats i have a treat jar <laughs> Mom, hi, yes i was talking about this. we did do we don't do christmas light we did do, do christmas ball we don't do Christmas lights. We don't do the tree. We don't do any candy in the tree. <laughs> That's and right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so another concern that people have when they're like, oh, what about the kids? Oh, yeah, and Halloween, uh, trick-or-treating. They get, they, we like don't I do said. Our yeah, we don't do Halloween. We we we're not doing that. Um, because they think that the kids are supposed to go out and get all this candy for what? We don't do that. Yes, and we have our own treat jar, don't we? So you get candy anytime throughout the year. You don't have to wait for that day to get candy. Um, let's see. So another thing that people are just like, oh my gosh, what about the kids? Um homeschool because y'all know that i am homeschooling um our kids and uh, the first thing that they like to say is how are they gonna make friends oh my gosh aj do you have friends hmm. yeah do you like to play with your friends this boy had friends since he was two years old he has no problem making friends he has friends in the neighborhood he has um friends in the ministry he's got tons and tons of cousins this boy knows how to make friends, okay? 
Um, and then when he is homeschooled, he will still be interacting with other children his age, and he can still make friends, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's gonna make more friends then. Um, so that's so the reason why I chose homeschooling is because I want it better for our kids. So people are looking at, oh, you you're causing your kids to miss out because they're not because they're being homeschooled they're not in the public school um with other children but that's not what they're going to school for okay they're going to school to be educated okay educated to grow their minds and there are plenty oh yeah and he's going to be in sports too so he's going to have friends um they're all going to be in sports and so especially with how active they are <laughs> So they're gonna have friends. That's not a concern. That is that's that should not be your main focus of why your child is in school. Um, so for me, which I've never wow. been Woo. all right, don't start with all that noise. <laughs> so for me, I've I've never been a fan of public school anyway. Um Ever since I was, I would say, like, since I was in third grade, I I really wasn't a fan of public school because of how my brother was done. And then I realized, that's when I realized that, you know, the public school is limited. It's limited. And um, so they're limited on what they can teach you. They're, you know, limited on, like, as far as educating the kids, you learn this and that's it. Um, <laughs> and I want more for our kids. Um, another thing would be like this whole bullying issue. And I'm not looking at it as, oh my gosh, I don't want my kids to go to public school because I don't want them to be bullied. No, I'm not worried about that. The main thing is, stop, please. So the main thing is, I'm I'm worried about my response anyway, um, <laughs> because working in the public school for ten years as a teacher, you see the bullying that goes on, and I never could stand it. Now, when I was a a child, when I was a student, I I never dealt with bullying so people may say well amy how can you have a say in bullying because you didn't deal with it well it wasn't that it never happened really <laughs> it wasn't that it never happened it was that whenever anyone would try i would go ahead and shut that down right away because i i just i wasn't tolerating that you're not gonna talk to me any kind of way you're not gonna treat me any kind of way you definitely not putting your hands on me and getting away with it I mean, and you you stick up for yourself, yourself. You stand up for yourself, and that's pretty much how you deal with it. And I would show my students that in the classroom. When there's someone messing with them, and I, especially if I see it going on, I will shut that kid down very quickly, and then I will let the the other one know. You see, this is all you have to do is you stand up to them. And you see how quiet they get, and then they get it. And they don't have any more problems out of them. We have to teach our children to stand up for themselves. And so keeping them, like having them homeschooled is not going to keep them from learning how to deal with a bully. It's not. They're going to learn how to deal with someone that's mean to them because even when they are adults, they're going to deal with someone, they're going to deal with mean people. So they have to know how to stand up to the, stand up for themselves. You don't let anybody talk to you any kind of way. You don't let anybody push you around. You don't do that. You speak up. And so that's not that's not an issue. It's just that I don't like how the system is handling bullying. That's what it is that I don't like. Um so with all of that being said, are my kids deprived? Are they missing out? No, they are not. If anything, they are getting better. We do um, a lot of a lot of learning, not just in the scheduled homeschool time. We learn all day. I teach them things all day. I teach them how to behave, how to talk to people, how to um, be respectful, how to follow directions. 
um, we study the Bible. So when, when we read it, because you remember the part about God created the earth? Yeah. <laughs> That's like his favorite thing, because he's like, I remember that. And so remember we went and what did we look at on the computer? The earth. Yes, we yeah. looked at the earth on the computer. So I saw that excitement in him. So it's like, well, let's explore this some more. So we went to the computer. I pulled up and installed um, Google Earth right there on the spot. And we looked at different places on earth. We looked at where we live so that he could understand that, okay, this big thing that you see is the earth. And this is how we are a part of it. This is how we live within it. And God created all of that. And so that was a teachable moment. So we have lots of those, okay? And yeah. as y'all see, like, from our summer videos, mm. um, which I'm excited about summer this year. Yay! We're going to have fun this year. Um, <laughs> we we do a lot of stuff with our kids. We have lots of fun. They're learning a lot. Um, and this one just, you like being on camera. So we do a lot of stuff, which is another reason why I want it to be home so that I can really do that. We go to the library and read books. AJ has his own library in his room with all of his books and because he gets a free book every month in the mail. Um, and he's been getting one ever since he was born because um, I signed him up for the Dolly Parton reading program. So these kids, they are not deprived. They are not missing out. If anything, they are getting better. And I love it. Like, I love, like, where they are um, as far as their development and their, you know, their learning and their experiences and, you know, and their exposure because we are being very careful, too, with what they're being exposed to. Um, because I believe that certain things they should be exposed to, you know, at certain ages. They don't need to be exposed to everything all at once and at a very young age. Um, another thing, too, with following the Bible, we also follow the dietary laws. So we don't eat every anything. And that's good, too, because that causes us to eat healthier. So my kids are not missing out because they don't eat pork. Really? They don't need to, what, what, how they, how were they being deprived or missing out because they don't, they're not eating a pork chop, really? And that, I know that's not an issue because every time I did eat pork, I got headaches. So that let me know right there, it's not good for you. God said, don't eat it, don't eat it, it's not good for you. Um, so yeah, so we don't do that. So we don't eat every and anything. So we follow the dietary laws, okay? And so they eat very healthy and they eat all the time. Like they they just eat just just to eat. Yeah, we love to eat. Yes, y'all love to yeah, eat. Yeah, I want to eat. <laughs> what do you like to eat? Hmm? What do you like to eat? Um I still want one of our hat. I don't know what you just said, but okay. I still want some macaroni and cheese. Oh, you want some macaroni and cheese? Yes. Really? Yes. I think you mean rice. You want some brown rice and some sauce? Mm. That's what we had for dinner um yesterday. So for yeah. leftovers for lunch, you had some more brown rice and white sauce. Some yum yum sauce. Yeah. Yeah. And some fruits. Mm -hmm. And some crackers. Yeah. Yeah, but I still want to say bye. Hi. Oh, you ready to say bye? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, are my kids missing out and are they deprived? No, they are not. If anything, they are getting better. So, no, we don't eat any and everything, but we eat healthy. So, they're going to grow up big and strong. <laughs> right? Big and strong. You frowning. And no, we don't celebrate everything, but we do have celebrations that we do observe. So we observe Passover and we got Passover coming up this year and I'm really excited about it this year. Um, so we do, you know, the Feast of the Bible. So we do Passover and unleavened bread and trumpets. You like trumpets? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
We do Feast of Trumpets. We do Tabernacles. I'm excited about Tabernacle this year, too. I love that, too. <laughs> you love that, too? Yeah, but bye. I mean, y'all, too, really? So, yeah, these kids, they're not missing out on anything. They're not deprived. If anything, they're getting better. And we are good. They are good. We're happy. Yeah? We're happy. All right, you ready to say bye now? Mm -hmm. You've been trying to say bye for the longest. All right, so. I will see y'all in the next video. As a matter of fact, I will see y'all in the next season. Season six. Got some fun things coming up in that season. So, I will see you all then. All right. Say bye. Bye. Bye.